Samsoff, Melbourne, Australia, because anything else would be uncivilized. So my brother and I are getting ready to go to Chicago. We have a really, really cool project that we are working on, so stay tuned for that. Also, we have been getting a ton of questions about the black uncivilized hoodie. Yes, they will be available to purchase in limited quantities this Friday, March 31st at 12 p.m. Eastern Time on MrFomerSimpson.com for $55. And yes, we do ship internationally. So if you want one, be ready to go at 12 o'clock. Eastern time because they are going to sell out really, really quick. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we're packing up, we're getting ready to leave, but we just posted a Nike VaporMax video and we put a ton of work into it and I think it turned out really, really dope. You like it a lot as well. Yeah, I think it's a good one. We put a lot of work into it. You know, we could have just unboxed them or did a regular whatever, but we wanted to do something a little more dope. You know, it's Air Max Day. It's the Vapor Max. We just wanted to do something cool, and so we put that video together. But a question we've been getting over and over again is how does the Vapor Max compare to the Ultra Boost? This is, I mean, how many times in the last five hours have we got this question? Several. A lot. Hundreds, probably, honestly. And when I first posted the Vapor Max on Instagram, about a week ago, there was another, there was hundreds of questions then. Everyone wants to know how it stacks up against the Ultra Boost. So, as you know, I'm a huge, huge fan of Ultra Boost. You guys know, you guys have heard me say, Boost is life. So, you know, I rock with Ultra Boost. And this is a sneaker that I probably wear almost more than any other sneaker. I have been wearing these all day. I'm gonna wear them pretty much the entire Chicago trip. That's the plan, and I'm going to break it down. I Personally, I love Adidas. I love Nike. I rock a lot of brands. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that that's nothing new here. I always talk about versatility. I'm not a guy who wears just one brand specifically. My brother is the same way. We wear whatever feels good and whatever looks good and whatever gives us that little pep in your step. The comparison. Here it is. It begins. Vapor Max versus the Ultra Boost. Round one. Great call. Fight. Round one. Fight. So, without further ado, Chicago, here we come. Oh, you said the driver's license, chauffeur license. So we made it to Chicago. We are in the hotel room right now, and I guess it's time to break these sneakers down, right? Yeah. So I've been wearing the Nike Vapor Max. I wore it yesterday, and I wore it all day today. Probably at least twelve. Probably at least twelve hours. So this is what we're talking about: the Vapor Max versus the Ultra Boost. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I literally had hundreds of people asking, what's better, what's better, what's better? And I get the comparison, I get why. I mean, I knew people were gonna compare the two. It just, you know, that's how it goes. For me, sneakers are like food. Like, I, I don't wanna have to pick. How many brands do you think we have? You know, from Nike all the way down the list to everything. 10. I was, I was gonna say, at least 10. Yeah. So, I wear at least 10 brands. I love Boost. You guys know this, I love Adidas. I also love Nike, I love Air Max. This is a phenomenally comfortable shoe. This is an extremely comfortable shoe. They're very, very different. I understand why people want to make the comparison, but they feel very, very different on feet. The Vapor Max has more of a bouncy feel 
Like it's more like boing boing. You're even up a little bit higher. The boost is a little bit more low profile, especially in the front of the shoe, especially in the forefoot. I'd say that the boost is a softer cushioning. So it's a softer ride, so to speak, where the Vapor Max is kind of more of a bouncier ride. Still really comfortable. It's really, really hard. Like I, I don't, I'm, try, I'm thinking of like what a good analogy would be. You know, it's like, you know, I don't know. What's a... I mean, you can't compare John Stockton to Shaquille O'Neal. Right, exactly. They're both basketball players. Exactly. Oh, okay, great. Exactly, like, it, like it's different. It's not like, you know, Kobe and Jordan, yeah. where they, they have very similar games. Yeah. You know, it's it's two different things. Like, I get that they're both running shoes. For me, and, and another thing, and even just the look of it, they're pretty different. Yeah. You know, like, this is, like, super futuristic. Yeah. My thing is this, like, let's see what Nike does with the Vapor Max. Let's see what they do with it. Let's see what some, just some of the color, like, some, some of the, the colorways. colorways were fire. Exactly. And, like, that multicolor pair, I, I there was... Amazing. What was the pair you showed me with the 326 on the? That was the multicolored pair. Oh, oh, there was also the pair that the was Air Max like red, pair. the neon. That was all. Those were awesome. Yeah. So let's see what some of the colorways look like. Let's see what Nike does with it. If you're one of those people who has to pick Adidas or Nike, by all means, go right ahead. I don't mind. Pick your side if you want to pick a side. For me, I'm going to wear both of them. I would say, just so I'm not chickening out on the question, yep. like, you know, trying not to answer it because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to dance around the question. The Ultra Boost is still going to be my everyday sneaker. I like that softer cushioning that it provides, but I'm absolutely still going to wear the Vapor Max a lot. I, I think it's an awesome sneaker and it's just dope, man. It's just really, really cool. If you're a fan of Air Max at all, if you're a fan of sneakers, yeah. Like, like, well, you know, you, but you do have some people who they're just super diehard one brand you know yeah and that's that's fine i guess that's just not us no yeah that's not we wear all kind of stuff and it's not just nike and adidas you know reebok yeah you know puma saucony new balance exactly Asics. exactly yeah. and even and even smaller brands than that greats yeah you know i mean so i kind of like to switch it up you know you know i like that and i love that this looks so different i guess one other thing just as far as because i know so many people are talking about the comfort. A lot of you have asked about the comfort and the fit. Of course, now this is the 3.0 Ultra Boost. This runs a bit bigger than the Vapor Max. So if you are a size nine in the Ultra Boost, I'd say you'd probably be a nine and a half in the Vapor Max. I don't have the luxury of going up and down like that being a size 13. But yeah, here they are, man. Oh, you can even see it's bigger. Yeah, yeah. And one other thing to add is the fly knit. When it's on your foot, it feels a little bit more structured. Like you can feel you have a sneaker on, I guess. And this is a little bit more free feeling. And I guess just casually, I guess I like the free feeling more mm -hmm. because it's less like you have a sneaker on. Yeah. Quite frankly. So that's it. That's my take. I wore these for a couple days straight, basically. I wear these all the time, and that's my take on it. Very, very different sneakers. Try a pair on. Go into a store, order a pair, and see what you think. As you saw, I walked with one on each foot, and they just feel so, so different. You're up much higher in this one. It's, it's bouncier, and this one, you're a little more low profile, and it's kind of a softer cushioning. So, that's it. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. You know, have you tried a pair of Vapor Max yet? You know, are you an Ultra Boost person? Let us know. Leave a comment below. Always good to hear from you. Me personally, I like sneakers and I like being comfortable. So these are both a win. You can't go wrong with either one. And that's the truth of the matter. So that's all I have. Do you have anything else to say? That's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. It does go a long way. And do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. We do a brand new video every single weekday, Monday through Friday. And we're doing some really cool stuff out here in Chicago. So you're not going to want to miss it. That's all I got. Buckets to my right. Vapor Max Ultra Boost. We're out of here. Like I'd say if you were a size nine in 
the 3.0, you'd probably be a, an eight and a half. Did I do that right? I think you did that opposite. Those oh, right, right, right. 